Hello everybody and what's up fighter Fightman64 here and welcome to the final part of mission mode for Sonic Rider. In the last episode we started the first half of Jet mission by doing all the stages from Metal City to Sega Carnival. So in this episode we're going to be doing all the counterpart missions that would have been our mission 5 but instead not. And let's just say I'm not looking forward to some of these. I really mean it when I say that, too. Hope, uh, hopefully things don't go bad on our part. <laughs> anyway, so before we start, if y'all could do me a huge favor and punch that like button on this video, I would really appreciate it. And also, please consider subscribing to the channel if you're not subbed already, because we are only less than 10 subs away from our goal of 200 subs. And if we can reach that goal, Let's hit that milestone. But with that being said, it's time to wrap up Mission Mode once and for all. And 100% completed. And I will also say once again that I did do a little bit of grinding on several pieces of junk. And that is for a particular reason. Because as we stand right now, there's only one treasure that we have to build. And that is the Legend Gear. Which we will be doing momentarily. But right now, we're going to get our revenge on the police car by taking it down as Knuckle the Knuckled. Let's do this. Uh, I've always wanted my revenge on those stupid police cars that just been wrecking plans one after another. So, uh... This part actually isn't too bad uh, at all, really. Because as long as you, just, you destroy the police car fast enough on Nightshade, that shouldn't be an issue for you at all. But anyways, yeah. So already first mission complete. I I'm pretty convinced that we uh, got enough. Uh, we beat it with enough time. And running out of air here, that really doesn't matter. Even if the bomb slowed us down there. So we destroyed it in 19 seconds. Easily a gold. And we finally got our revenge on that police car that had been getting on our way the entire time. When we were not a power type, but either a speed or a fly type. Of course. Ah, I've been wanting revenge on that police car for so long. It's a pest. The reason I hate Nightshade so much. No! I couldn't reach the treasure! How could I have I been so misinformed? It, this won't happen again! Okay, so next up we're doing grinding mission. And... And this is probably going to be a struggle for me since... Majority of these missions that are... Involved in grinding gave me a lot of trouble. Uh, having to do these again? Not happy for. And I'm pretty sure I was supposed to go up on the upper path uh, there. Maybe I'll still succeed. Maybe I'll. Maybe I won't. Uh, also, I'm also gonna say right now that. You don't have to collect a treasure piece, but, uh, because you don't get any new gear. Because, basically, that is, that is only for Storm Mission that you do that part. Uh, didn't look like we do, did too bad on our, uh, first run, but perhaps this would have gone a lot smoother if we hadn't screwed up the jump. That or hit hit the jump button late, and I got a bronze on that. I I, I thought I got a silver right there. So yeah, it looks like they want you to go the upper path because if you don't, then you're gonna miss a lot of grind, and that's gonna be an automatic fail. I'm gonna have to retry that. Yeah, 
I guess you could say for this last part, be sure to expect a lot of cuts here because I'm going to be failing multiple times before I can even, well, succeed. But, yeah. I think this back half is probably the part I'm not looking forward to the most. Except for Wave Mission, I had an easier time than I did with Storm Mission. For obvious reasons. And that's stuff. Come to think of it, the water is a little bit more dark than it than it usually is. Now that I think about it more. No! Come on! Ah, so close! I was one right away from success. And I couldn't do it. Oh, what was me right here? Well, you you guys already know where all the grind reels are, so we're gonna skip ahead at this point. See you guys then. Oh dear gosh! And... There we go! Not bad! Okay, not bad! Uh... Wasn't too awful, but uh... But, let's be honest... I usually have a lot of trouble with the timing was when I, I'm i supposed to get off the rails. Because, yeah, this is always a problem I have any time I would do a grinding mission, whether it be short or long. What does this say about my skill? Man, collecting treasures isn't easy. Anyway, mission three is we gotta take down a robot. And obviously grab the treasure before Chet does. Yeah, looks like we're alternating between power speed type or er, power speed fly and that stuff. There are big alternation between going back and forth here. Uh, oh, oh, get, oh dear god, it's, fe it's behind me. Get it! Uh, I don't think I was fast enough. Uh, I think I was supposed to be under 20 seconds to get that robot uh, destroyed. So this one I may have to redo. I I'm not too confident about destroying that in about 20 seconds in advance. I as I said, not very confident. I think this is this may be the first and only time I have to retry uh, the, the ice factory stage. Who knows? Let's see if 20 seconds or 21 seconds were fast enough. Oh, oh, never mind. It was. I am a bit shocked, actually. I didn't even see how many seconds I need to get the goal, but you know what? I'll take it if it's the first try. Gl more than gladly. What's that Ray Chin not doing? He's mimicking that robot! Mission 4! This is an air ride mission for White Cave! Do you air ride 30 or more time to get the treasure before Chet appears? This was the thing that was once my childhood nightmare, but is not anymore. True story. True story, that is. I don't know if I told you that, but. This really is true, because... 
younger me wasn't used to like inverted control where where up is where up is down and down is up. Younger me was more used to the normal way, uh, more than anything. And yes, I did fail to get the, uh, the gold emblem, but, uh, hopefully we can still, uh, succeed. If there is still a chance, which I don't think there is. Nope, no, don't look like it. I, I, I was off by two air rides. But I did get the treasure, though. To say the least. But unfortunately, 36 air rights out of 38, that isn't enough. Because that only gave me the silver. Okay, take two. I think we do got this this time. Uh, not unless we keep hitting objects like that, we won't. Seriously? Seriously? I didn't make the jump? I feel a bit robbed on that, actually. But then again, you have to fly a long way to get some of these there, right? Because if you miss one, it's over. Like, it's legit over. See, my problem is that I keep hitting down. I keep hitting down on that one air ride, which causes me to miss miss the one next to it. I mean, I still have problems with air right, but not as much as I do with grind rail. Uh, oddly enough. Oh, come on! I got the thing that I missed twice, and I still missed the following one behind that. But like I said, I'm not going to skip this one entirely because... I really don't think this should take me that long, to be honest. I worried about it before, but now I'm not even worried anymore. Now that I'm older, that I got uh, used to the uh, the control of how the the airline and the flying type thing work. I still don't really like how it's uh, inverted, so with the thing. That's the only thing that's really drawn me back from saying that I, well, do like it. But there we go. Got it on our next attempt. With no cuts needed. Not like we do, did for those grinding mission. And the sad part is we're not even done with the grinding mission. Because we have one more of those to do as well as the air ride thing. We have at least two more power, power type characters that we need to do. Or power type mission, I meant, I meant to say. But whatever. Man, I'm sick of having to use flight type gear. Yeah, I would say the same thing, but no. Anyway, it's junk collecting time. And for those who are wondering, I did look at the, uh, how many chunks I had in the last episode. We actually do have enough of those air things to, uh, to get the piece we need uh, for this one. But the thing we got to do now is make sure, make absolutely sure that Jet doesn't get a single piece because if he does get a single piece, I'm screwed. Possibly. And not just missing one. Also, police cars still suck. They really do. And he got one of the pieces. Oh, even better. He got freaking two of them. That's great. Well. Guess I'm not succeeding here, and I'm definitely not succeeding here with running out of air. 
Ugh, why did we have to freaking collect junk at, at, at the worst stage in existence? And the worst part is, that is something I'm going to say non-stop about Nightshade, because, because, police cars are such a nuisance to the plan! A pesky little bunch that wants to chase whoever the heck it is down. And there's just police cars that just love to get in your way for, 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 who knows what reason that is. Thankfully though, Chet is behind me and I don't see there to be any way that he could possibly beat me at this point. And besides, he's behind me. Cause last time he was in front of me. Ah, uh, whatever, at least Nightshake didn't take that long. In fact, I'd rather not think about Nightshade. But, yeah. I was totally focused this time, but I lost. Should I admit defeat? No, not yet. Alright, it's time for the last wave. I mean, not the character itself, but the la last set of missions. Five missions remained. And our next play takes place at... Dark Dither. Destroy seven stone statues in a row with the fastest time possible. Because we have to. I don't really think there's been a single uh, power mission that we even failed at. Uh, right now. I mean, it could still happen, but hopefully it doesn't, uh, while we're on our way. Oh, that's just mean. Yeah, I'm totally not getting, getting a, uh, goal here. Yeah, 29 seconds? Yeah, I, I'm gonna have to retry this. God, that, that placement of those Pandora's box is so mean. Yes, that is what I call these things. Literal Pandora's box. I, I know they call it a stone pillar, but you know what? Whatever. I'm still gonna call it that. That's definitely gonna be a silver. Well, that's the first power mission that I failed at, getting a gold at. But thankfully, we can make up for that. But now we know which position that we need to be at, uh, too. Uh, I'm gonna take this slow and... Slow and steady. Since I don't pass it this time. And... I think we got it this time. Uh, I do think we were supposed to finish that in another 25 seconds, I believe. Unless I went too slow, which... That might have still happened. But, but we shall see... Once we get to the end... Of the stage... I can't see where I'm going. 24 seconds, was that enough? Indeed it was. Possibly, possibly if I went any slower, I probably would have still gotten a silver medal instead of a gold, either way. That annoying Reddy Chin have found the treasure. What luck! A and we have our last grinding mission, which takes place at Sky Road. Yeah, remember what I said about Sega? So, remember what I said about uh, Sega Illusion? Well, I lied about that. And I do deeply apologize for the, for lying right there, because... Because I forgot that... Uh, that Mission 5 had, like... Alternate mission that makes up for... I've, I already failed. 
Oh yeah, I definitely failed. Yeah, let's retry that. That was... That was a bit embarrassing, I'm gonna be honest with you. I mean, at least we don't have that much B-type mission to do. Why guy for power? I mean, power? I'm okay with that. Fly is... Sort of okay, but this on the other hand... Oh boy! I hate it so much. Especially that since I... Constantly have a lot of issues with, like, the timing like that. Cause, guess, guess what? Fight Man sucks at... Sucks at timing. Fight Man has no patience. No patience whatsoever. It's literal hell. I mean it. And it looks like I only missed, uh... Uh, wh was it three or did I miss more? It was more than three. Yeah, just as I feared. Uh, uh, oh, man. Why do I have to hit the A button twice? Hitting it... Hitting it just one time is enough for me. Just saying. But now you know why I absolutely despise doing these grind missions. Because when they... Why do you have perfect uh, execution? They really mean it. Anyway, there's the treasure chest right there. And I definitely got... Uh, uh, did I? Did I get bronze? Yeah, I did get bronze. Oh, wait! No, I did not! I got silver that time. Well, that's good to know. Better than the previous one, at least to say. How about we try that again? Uh, so... Once again, like I said for Red Canyon, next time I fail this, I'm just gonna... go ahead and cut to the point where I do succeed. If this next one doesn't succeed otherwise. Alright, so that's three. These are a really big gap from what I'm realizing. From how far you gotta jump. Like, good grief. And I missed time to jump. So, I'm gonna cut ahead to the point where I succeed once again. So, see ya. Like, I'm serious. Wh whenever I talk about grinding on rail, because honestly, grinding on rail and having to do it at a consecutive number of times. That is the worst of the worst. See how easily I fail to get the gold? Ugh. It is the one thing that just drive me to my complete insanity. Having to keep a consecutive streak of rope by perfectly executing the time timing and the jump. Because there's some that are very long, and then there's some that are very short. And that is the thing I do not like about this part. That's what scares me the freaking most. Like, I honestly want to rip my freaking hair off at this rate. Running on a large consecutive number of rail is the last thing I want to even do on this mission. Ugh. Ugh, man. Ah! 
Ah! I jumped too early! There's still hope, though. There's still hope, though. I just need to not miss that last jump. And... There it is! We have succeeded! What we gotta do now is hit the goal line and we're all fine and dandy! Oh, thank goodness we do not have to do those grinding missions again where we gotta do a large consecutive number of grind because doing that is the worst of the worst in my book. I don't know if it is for anyone else's, but it definitely is in my book. Remember that, people. But anyways, what awesome skill! I didn't have a chance. Can we really win? All right, with grinding. Finally done, we can now move on to Mission 3 to destroy another seven statues in a row at Babylon Guardian. Yeah, this one should be easy. Oh, uh, not unless I screw up by hitting... Hitting, uh... Not unless I completely screw up by hitting the freaking... Electric fin. Yeah, I'm not gonna succeed. The best, the worst I can do is get a bronze, or just completely get nothing at all. B but coming from the looks of it, they they really want you to be precise and careful with your timing, which is why I had to reset a uh, a couple times. And I freaking turned too early. I turned way too early. Oh, and what about the, that you... Hey, Trey, what about... So, what was that about being very easy, Mr. Fightman64? How about... How about a mission where you have to... Very precise is your timing. Where you can keep failing to get to get the destroy the consecutive amount of gargoyle statues you need in a row. Yeah, that's a really fun thing to do now, isn't it? Uh, uh, yeah, looks like this one. They want you to be very precise with your boost, because if you don't boost in time, you're not gonna get gold. That doesn't change a thing of. That doesn't change a thing about how I feel about power type mission, because power type mission, in my opinion, that was pretty easy. That was all chip warm up for that one. That'll say much. You guys saw nothing. Anyways, wow. When I see skills like that, well, it astounds me. Four missions remain, and now it's time to air ride. 26 or more time. Down at Sega Illusion. Uh, this is not time based, is it? Or, or, I mean, countdown. No, it's not. But what we gotta do is stay calm and, to, and just go with the flow. Uh, there is no reason to grab that uh, air right down there, because, well, that's just an alternate route in case you were to screw up anywhere. Let's just say that much. Oh boy, this part. Why do I feel so nervous about this part? Uh, also, do not land on the ground right here, because if you land on the ground, you're, you pretty much just screwed yourself if you did that. But thankfully, that only took me one try. So yeah, no problemo, no problemo. We are already done with this mission. So now, only one mission remains. And this last mission, we gotta win the race. 
I was helpless with my adversary later on that track. Alright. Mission 5. This is the final mission of the game. This is where you're going to start unlocking stuff here. But anyways. Uh, this is where we got to race Storm, Wave, and shit. Prove you're the best by reaching the goal before them. And getting the goal. I think that was pretty obvious. You have to be all three of the Babylon Rogue. If you get second, you get silver. And if you get third, you get bronze. And if you get beat by all three of them, then... I think you know what rank you're gonna get. I think that was quite obvious. And that needs no say. So yeah, beating the Babylon Rogue here, this should not be a problem for you. Unless, of course, you're bad at the game, which, conveniently, I am not. Uh, no one's taking shortcut, is there? Uh, don't look like it. I will have to take the shorter path, though, which I missed. Oh no, I think Mutchet may have beaten me here. Yep, he beat me. Oh, uh, well, we can try this again. What I wanted to do there was take the shortcut, but, uh, but alas, I missed time to jump. And because I completed all the mission, uh, whether you get all the gold rings or not, we unlike a few characters. We unlike I I from Super Monkey Ball, who is a power type. Uh, another character we unlike is Ulala from... Base Channel 5, this is a speed type. And last but not least, we unlock Knight from her series Knight, or his series rather, and this one's a fly type. New Extreme Gear Opa Opa has been added to the shop, as well as the Crazy, and Hang On, and Super Hang On. And we cleared 100 mission, and this is where they tell you to try to get all the gold emblem. Because. The reason they tell you that is that they give you a special reward, which is what we are currently aiming for right now. Here I, come. I did say we were going to do this 100%, even if it means having some failed attempts along the way. But yeah. So that is the reward you can get if you're not trying to go for all the gold emblems. But if you do get all the gold of them, you do get a special reward. Which, as I said earlier, is what we're aiming for. Uh, let's go ahead and grab the, uh, air. Because Jet beat us last time. But he's not beating us this time. This time, this game is ours. No losing his shit this time. And there we go. That is all 100 gold emblem obtained. And for our reward, we get the Chaos Emerald, which is which can only be used by Sonic the Hedgehog. Surprisingly not Shadow, because... Well, uh, apparently this was... By the developer's choice. And honestly, I'm a bit disappointed that only Sonic can use it and not Shadow also. But there you go. That is the reward you can get if you get all 100 rings. Mission completed. You got all gold emblem. Which means we are officially done with mission mode once and for all. I battled him fairly and I have no regrets. But I'll beat you someday, Sonic the Hedgehog! But before we close up the episode, there's still one more thing that we gotta do. And that is to create the last treasure. We have 26 green, 22 yellow, 31 red, 27 blue, and 59 gray. We definitely have enough, so let's build our last treasure. Ladies and gentlemen, now we have surely 100%ed 
the game for mission mode and have unlocked everything we could possibly do there. But did that mark the end of our let's play yet? No, of course not, because next time, uh, I thought about this for a long while, but we're going to be showing off uh, tag mode, and then what we're going to be doing afterward is we're going to be doing survival mode. And then later on, we will close off our left play by doing the three track, uh, Digital Dimension, Take a Carnival, uh, Take a Lucian, and we're also going to be showing off the Chaos Emerald. Before we close off this let's play. So once again, I want to thank you guys all so much for watching this. And remember, if you enjoyed this episode of Sonic Riders and you'd like to see more, don't forget to punch that like button. As always, and I'll see you guys next time. So once again, I am Fightman64. See you all. Have a good day. Game on, my friend, and take care. Goodbye, everybody, and stay safe. Adios!